Welcome back to Webion Systems. My name is Abhishek Patel, and today I'm going to start a series that is BDD in Test Complete. So for that, first start your Test Complete and create a new project. So right-click on this project suite, add a new project, and I'm going to create a new project with the name BDD Project 01 and choose the preferred programming language for your project. Here I'm going to select JavaScript and click on OK. OK, so once the project is created, and now in order to get started with BDD, you want to add a new project item, and that is the scenario. OK, that is the scenario. That's the project item you want to add inside your new project. So for that, right click on the newly created project and select this add and click on this new item and here look for the scenarios okay so here this is the project item we are interested in and click on ok so as you can see there is a little cucumber symbol beside this folder and it is named as scenarios so this is the test item we want to add inside our project and now once this test item is added we can start creating the feature file inside this scenario folder. For that, just right click and select the add and new item and give the appropriate name of the feature file. So here I'm going to give a name as login feature and going to click on OK. So as you can see, the login feature file is created under this scenario folder. And when you double click on it, it will open this Gherkin editor where you can see the steps are created. These are the auto-created steps with the Gherkin syntax. So this, this is called the Gherkin syntax, which is feature scenarios given when, then, and, but. Okay. So now let's write a valid login steps just for the sake of explanation. So the scenario would be, let's say, valid login. And when I say given, the application is up and running and here will say when user enter user name or would say valid user name and user enter valid password then user should log in and see welcome message okay so this is how you create the acceptance test okay or the feature of your application inside the feature file okay so this one is the positive scenario you can even create the negative scenario sorry and for that let me just copy this and i'm going to paste it here and here i will change it to non valid login okay and for that the application is up and running user enters non-valid username and non-valid password and user should not log in and see error message okay okay so this is how you create the acceptance test or the login feature inside the feature file okay so now as most of you guys are aware that the real automation happens behind the scene that is you are going to need this script or a function where which you can record the automation and link to this feature file right so for that either you can click on this generate step definition button or just right click and click on the generate step definition option okay so once you click it if you notice here inside the script folder the unit one file is created and it has all the functions or the methods which are inside this feature file okay so all these steps are created as a function and stored inside this script file where you can record your automated test and run it as a part of your feature file okay you can give the appropriate name here i will change it to login feature so that way i can keep a track that 
the functions of all these login features are stored inside this login feature file okay now now if you want to find a specific function associated to let's say this step user valid login then how you can do it to do it first just click on the control button and hold it and now when you hover over the steps you notice this these steps have turned into the URL or would say into the link okay so the steps have turned into the link now click on one of the steps you are interested in and once you click on it it will take you to the associated function okay here you can write the script that will perform the test step inside your feature file okay once the all the functions are populated that means once you record your automated test inside this uh, login feature script you can run it from your login feature file which is sitting inside the scenario just right click and you can run these steps or you can just run it okay we will see this in the further videos so for now this is it for this video where you have seen how to get started with BDD in test complete all you have to do is just right click inside your project and just add the new item which is named as the scenario okay which is named as the scenario and once you add the scenario folder you can start creating the feature files once you create the feature files all you have to do is just right click and click on the generate step definition which will create the new script file inside the script folder which has all the function associated to the steps that you have created inside your login feature file or the feature file okay and from here you can start recording the test which will run as a part of your bdd test okay and we will see that in the future so in the next video we will see uh, some of the feature of this gherkin editor okay that's it in this video thank you very much and see you next time